Uh, hello again, guys. Uh, bear in mind with this video, uh, anything could happen because I'm using YouTube's direct upload feature. So there's might be a lot of pauses, a lot of stops, and stuff like that. So bear with me. And if the camera just suddenly moves on its own, uh, and I have to fix it, you'll see that. <laughs> there will be no cutaways. Uh, I'm probably going to start doing that more, like actually editing my videos in the future. Uh, put more work into these vlogs. Uh, but not right now. Uh, I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, okay, well here's the, the idea of this video right now. <sighs> I know a lot of you guys um, want more episodes of Dragon Ball Z too. And, you know, I sent out the script for episode 6, like a year ago, uh, something like that. Maybe not a year ago, but more like uh, late 2010. Um, and it's pretty late in 2011, too, so I'd say probably about a year in total. Um, but basically... Uh, I got lines. I did. I did receive a number of lines from different members of the cast. You know, it's not like I completely just forgot about the project. I was working on it for a while. At the same time, I was also working on other projects as well. Um, but you see, the thing is, uh, lines stop coming in, and. When lines for me stop coming in, I kind of, kind of start losing interest in doing these things. Cause if the actors are not interested anymore, or at least they're having their problems and they don't ask for extensions anymore, and then I just stop sending out emails. Pretty much, I need to start sending out emails again. You know, I need to, to, you know, be assertive with the cast and get them back on track. But that's neither here nor there. Um, question is, is I'm thinking about continuing on. I really am. I'm thinking about doing that. You know, I have some lines already sent in, obviously. Um, and I know some people who really want me to do episode six. They want me to continue on with this series. Um... And I kind of do too. I mean, it's kind of a lot in my plate because I've got a lot of different radio plays that I've been working on. Uh, with Togi, Plagueum, uh, some other radio plays that you guys actually have not seen yet, which I may or may not post in the future. Um, but yeah, um, I don't want to leave some of you guys in the dark. I want you guys to enjoy what I produced for you because... I didn't think the response was going to be that big for Dragon Ball Z 2. I didn't think it was going to be that big. <laughs> I really did not. Um, I mean, damn, that's like over like almost a hundred thousand views for the first part of episode one, and I mean, <laughs> it's nothing but a picture of like Goku with sil like super long silverly silver hair and all that. And just audio. There's no video. There's no visual or anything, and it has over a hundred thousand, almost a hundred thousand views. <laughs> that's that's insane. Um, I've seen some interesting comments from people, and <laughs> some of them make me laugh. Some of them are like, "Okay, that makes no sense to me at all." But you know, <laughs> it's hap makes me happy to know that people were entertained by what I produced. You know. People were surprised that I had actually written that all from scratch. Granted, the dialogue for those Dragon Ball Z two scripts, because I written, I ugh. see. This is why I told you that you know there's not going to be any pauses. Um, I had written those scripts years ago, years ago, and there's tons and tons of material that's just in the wayside, waiting. Um, and you know, obviously, I did go through and I revised. The first six scripts, but sometimes you can't always reach the measure of perfection you'd aimed to get uh, with the scripts. So that's why they sound very hokey at times. 
But at the same time, I kind of liked that because it paid homage to the American version of Dragon Ball Z. You know, you know how it was ter it was terribly written at times. I mean, there were some awful lines like "Sad for you" or or you know something like "Over nine thousand. You know, uh, maybe that wasn't such a bad line. It was actually a hilarious line. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Just all that shit with, you know, terrible lines like Piccolo saying, Did you hit in the head or something? Or, you know, like, oh my gosh, I feel amazing! I feel great! <laughs> you know, like, I'm awake! I'm wide awake! You know, shit like that. <laughs> just, 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 just really, really awkward, obtuse lines that... Back then, you did not notice, but today, you notice all the time. You're like, oh my gosh, I actually watched that? That was awful. <laughs> um, since then, the remastered versions and the Kai version have rectified that to an extreme level. So now it's, it's pretty much where it needs to be now. Dragon Ball Z 2 is along those same lines. I mean, I kind of... It was unintentional, while well, at the same time intentional, subconsciously, I guess, the reason why DBZ2 was so hokey sounding at times. That being said, um, those are technical issues I've had with the first, like, I think, four episodes, because I used a different program to mix, and it made it kind of sound like shit, for lack of a better word. Um, episode five, I used a different program for, which is why you've noticed the quality between the episodes changed by episode 5 because I used a different you know program for it before I used audacity and then I switched to Adobe Audition um, and that made things sound a lot smoother a lot more clear just a lot better um, I'm thinking about going back maybe just maybe and remixing the first four episodes and re-releasing them is like my own remastered of edition that being said, there probably won't be any redos, but then again, you never know. It'll probably just be the same exact lines I'd already used, just mixed better, mixed in with better quality, if you know what I'm saying. Um, that being said, um, there's a big chance in episode 6 that there will be mini recasts that I need to do. Sad but true, you know. If you want to move on, move, continue on a story, if you're going to make an audio drama with people you work with all, all over the, the world, essentially, um, recast is going to pop into the equation exponentially. Um, it's great if you manage to get a great cast that not to stay on for the entire run, but then there are some people that just don't want to deal with it or they're too busy or whatever, you know, things like that, and you have to recast them. Thankfully, I have Masako X's lines for episode 6. He was actually one of the first people to turn his lines in. Recently, I know that he's kind of been backing out of projects, um, like the Naruto abridged, a friend of mine's dub. Um... So this big, 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 big chance I might not get him back for episode 7. But you'll at least have him for episode 6 if that moves forward, okay? I give you guys no guarantees, but I am thinking about doing that. I'm thinking about giving you guys episode 6 at least. Um... I have lines. I just need a few more lines. I need extras lines. Extras, okay? You guys, I said this in my last video. If anybody here has a good quality mic who can act well and will take the time on their day to play an extra, send me a PM, okay? Or comment on this video. Comment on this video and I can give you an extra. Um, there's plenty of female and male extras. Some of them die. Fair warning. Some of them die. Um, but there's a lot of extras that need voices, and I could use you guys' help. If you want Dragon Ball Z 2 to continue, you guys have the power to heck that happen. 
Um, all you got to do is just send me or just comment and send me some information. Um, you can send an audition. You can send like an audition for me um, in um, uh, MP3 format. I apologize for that. Uh, <laughs> my uh, computer went on screensaver during the course of that video. I told you things are going to start happening. I told you stuff would happen that was not planned. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm glad that it's still recording or I would have been pissed. Um, what was I saying? Okay, I was saying that... You can send me an MP3 recording of your voice as a sample, potentially. Um, send it to my email uh, below. I have an email that you guys can send stuff to below. Um, but yeah, female male voices rocking. Um, I think that's pretty much all I need to say, but all I'm saying now is that DBZ2 will continue, I think. I've decided I want to turn back to DBZ2. I'm working on other stuff, you know, Togi, Plagum, various other projects that you guys haven't seen yet, um, on, at least on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I, I want to give you guys episode 6. I want to give you guys more of this story. And I'm going to try my damnedest to really, really, really revise those scripts because I want them to sound better now, especially since I think ever since I wrote those scripts, I think I've improved a lot as a writer. So I think it's time to continue with some old projects, um, but give it the new Mr. West edge that I am known for now, these days. Um, and that's pretty much all I gotta say, I think. Um, remember, if you have a good quality mic, you wanna help out the cause, the DBZ2 cause, um, shoot me a sample of your voice down below, and we can talk. Um, unlike the last video, I will allow children because there are scenes where kids are present. But remember, just because you're a kid does not mean you can sound like crap. You still need to put forth the effort to sound convincing, okay? To sound like you really are this character in this turmoil. Just keep that in mind. Um. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, any questions, concerns, comments, leave them down below. And then you can also send me emails down below as well. And, again, I apologize for that long pause. That will never happen again if I have anything to say about it. Peace!